Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. Greetings, I'm Al Bellavo and this is my studio and today is the Studio Cruise. It's a very exciting event that happens every year in the fall. I'm welding stuff and other people are welding stuff and we're heating up iron and we're beating on things and cutting things out and enjoying the wonderful sunshine. This is perhaps the best weather that we've had in the three years that we've done the Studio Cruise. I think people want to know what we're up to because quite often we're out here cloistered in our little hovels working away on our little art, you know, turning imagination into physical reality. And, and, uh, and I, I think people go, what are those crazy artists up to? And this way they get to come out and you hear at Al's place, you even get to grab a hold of some of the implements of destruction that we utilize for our creative process and uh, make things yourself. And you can see just how cool it really is. So get right up close to the metal. You can lay it right on there and then go slow. There you go. See? It's not that dangerous. Did you want to try too? No. Are well, you sure? It's not it's too awesome scary. Awesome melody. Yeah. It's awesome. <laughs> Hi, I'm Pat Chuck, and uh, I am a watercolor artist. I also do acrylics, and uh, I teach watercolor here in my studio. And today and this weekend, I'm taking part in the Studio Art Cruise. And this is one of my paintings. This is a, uh, an acrylic that I did with a palette knife, and it's been a very popular painting of mine. I'm opening my studio up today for the Studio Art Cruise, of which you can see there are a lot of people here today. I'm showing people and introducing them to uh, my students' artwork. I do teach watercolor to beginning watercolor students. I think it's important because all the people can come and see all the creativity that this community has and uh, they can get involved in it and uh, not only in my studio can they take classes, they can go to other artist studios and sign up and, and take classes and uh, get to know other artists and enjoy their work. I'm Alice Strand and I make little fabric animals and today we're part of the First City of Art Studio Cruise. I have been doing this approximately 35 years. Um, I started out doing larger animals and they just kept getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> this is one of the uh, more natural ones that I do, the realistic ones. I guess the, the way of getting the feathers to work was quite a challenge. It's actually a very simple technique, but it took me forever to figure out how to do that. And the little landscapes, I really have fun doing these. They're all made of thread and stuffed rocks. <laughs> Here's one of my tiny little bunnies with a tiny potato. As you can see, <laughs> he's about an inch high. <laughs> and he's all, this one's pretty much all hand stitched. Nice. Hi, I'm Maureen O'Brien and welcome to my little farm studio, which is different than many artists. And as I've grown older, I've expanded the studio thinking instead of doing shows, that I've been doing for 42 years. Maybe people will start coming to me. <laughs> this is the first year I've been part of the studio cruise. So I'm excited. It made me clean my studio a bit. I think it's just to make people aware of how many incredible creative people there are around Bemidji. My name is Paula Swenson and I'm a contemporary painter. Sometimes I paint actual places that I photograph. For instance, this center painting is on Seven Bridges Road of the Leicester River just north of Duluth. Sometimes I just paint what's around me and sometimes I paint what I'm thinking about. Everybody's just been t saying what a wonderful time they've been having and a lot of out-of-town people. A lot of out-of-town people. Um, people from the Twin Cities, people from Fargo. So interest is picking up year after year. 
If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org. If you have segment ideas pertaining to North Central Minnesota, contact us at legacy at lptv.org. Common Ground is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund by the vote of the people on November 4, 2008.